Welcome to the video on The Little Girl, a short story by Catherine Mansfield. This short story is prescribed in the fourth module of the core paper reading fiction for the third semester BA English students of the University of Kerala. Catherine Mansfield was born as Kathleen Mansfield Beauchamp in Wellington, New Zealand. She was a prominent modernist writer of short fiction and she settled in London. She migrated to London and was inspired by Russian writers, French symbolists and Oscar Wilde. Catherine Mansfield has consistently been praised for the compression and understatement of her prose fiction. She had the capacity to pack complex emotion and thought into the deceptively simple and direct outlines of her stories. Her innovative stories mainly portrayed intricacies of family relationships, the social and psychological impact of war, estrangement, loneliness and so on. Her prolific work has for many years been seen as a model of the specifically modern short story in English and of the changes it has represented. So she has a unique prose style with overtones of poetry and her delicate story is often faced on psychological conflicts as we will see in The Little Girl. Then her style of narration and subtle observations of life and society reveal the influence of the Russian writer Anton Chekhov. Mansfield's short stories pioneered the genre's shape in the 20th century. The Little Girl was first published in 1912 and is based on the author's own childhood. This is a tribute to her father, Harold Busham, who had immigrated to New Zealand and was a, 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 a successful businessman who finally worked in the Bank of New Zealand and so on. Now, in this story, the little girl is Kezia. She is uh, called Cass by her parents and her grandmother with whom she lived. And uh, it mainly depicts the uh, story of the girl's relationship with her father. Now, the parents and the grandmother are unnamed in the story. This uh, short story begins with the line, To the little girl, he was a figure to be feared and avoided. So, uh, the fact that the girl was absolutely terrified of her father, this is revealed uh, right in the opening sentence. Now, the father was a very successful person. Uh, that is what we understand from the story. He was uh, always working. He was a very busy person and he had no time to express his affection uh, for the little girl. But every morning before leaving home for work, he used to give her a perfunctory kiss. Now, Kaz used to feel very happy when her father was not at home. When he returned home in the evenings, uh, she sometimes helped him to remove his boots as a reward for being a good girl. Kaz always stammered while talking to her father. Again, another symptom of her uh, of her feelings for the father that uh, it revealed how she was terrified of her father. She couldn't even talk to him properly. Now, Kaz used to go to the church with her father on Sundays and used to observe him very closely. Uh, he seemed like a giant to the little girl because he was a huge figure. On Sunday afternoons, the grandmother sent Kaz down to the drawing room to have a nice talk with her father and mother. But her parents were always busy with uh, their own things and they had no time to spend with her. Now one day the grandmother tells Kaz that her father's birthday is coming. It was next week. So on a Sunday afternoon, Kaz decided to make a pin cushion as a surprise birthday gift for her father. It was actually her grandmother's suggestion. The grandmother suggested that she could make a pin cushion out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk. Now after stitching the cloth together, she couldn't find any material to fill the cushion. 
so she went in search of something uh, waste paper or something like that and she saw in her mother's bedroom in the parents bedroom she saw some papers lying on the table so uh, she thought uh, you know those papers were not important and so she shred them into pieces and then she used them to fill up the uh, pin cushion so uh, unfortunately uh, those papers uh, contained the great speech prepared by her father uh, for a har- for the harbor board he was uh, he had prepared uh, his speech on those papers and kaz's mother was shocked to find out that what she had done so when the father found out the reaction was look as as she expected it was really terrible and she was punished very severely because the papers were very important to him and this is what the father told her while he was beating her with a ruler you must be taught once and for all not to touch what does not belong to you and the girl tries to explain very feebly but it was for your birthday down came the ruler on her little pink palms so later the grandmother comforts the little child and tries to explain you see your father was very angry and that is why uh, he that is why he uh, treated her very severely and so on but the little child never forgot that incident the girl was sad and heartbroken and she used to watch the neighbors the neighboring family mr macdonald the father played with the five children and uh, she wished that her father would also sometimes play with her but then uh, in her innocence she came to the conclusion that there were different sorts of fathers so her father was a different person mr macdonald was a bit different person now the story moves to a climax when kaz's mother falls ill she was admitted in a hospital in the town and the grandmother has to stay with her so kaz was left alone at uh, home with alice probably the um, the housekeeper and uh, we understand what kind of a character alice was with the description given within quotes the general so this alice was also a very strict person now the little girl was afraid of nightmares she used to have nightmares and usually it is the grandmother who comforts her but alice cautions her tells warns her tells her that she should not scream and awaken her father who was very tired but what happens at night is that the same old nightmare came and this is the nightmare a butcher with a knife and a rope who grew nearer and nearer smiling that dreadful smile and the frightened child cries out for her grandmother when she wakes up she sees her father standing near her bed and uh, strangely the father carries her to his room tucks her up very affectionately and kaz is really surprised at this unexpected display of love and affection and care showered on her now what happens is that the father slept before the little child because he was really tired and kaz uh, crept very close to him she lay uh, lay her head on uh, his chest and uh, she felt very comfort she felt very comfortable so she understood that her father was a very hard working person and that is why he had no time to see her or to play with her and she even feels sorry for him and uh, then she remarks the uh, the story ends with a very touching line she remarks or she tells her father that he has a great heart and that he, she can hear the heart beating so uh, the story ends very beautifully with the child understanding the father's love and concern so this short story as i mentioned earlier is a touching tribute to catherine mansfield's father and uh, she narrates the story from the perspective of an innocent child and it presents the little girl's philosophy of life how she understands life and the last line the lines with which the the story ends my head's on your heart i can hear it going what a big heart you've got father dear so this poignant climax highlights the superb craft of the author catherine mansfield as a master storyteller 
I hope you enjoyed this video on the little girl by Catherine Mansfield. Thank you so much for your patient listening.